So welcome back guys. Today is we will be uh, be showing to you what I have newly learned. So I've learned I've just learned TypeScript today and what I did is I've converted the clean architecture which is from JavaScript and convert it into TypeScript which is here. So I've made uh, just a simple crude again using this uh, database here. This one, the T sample. This is for the unit test. So just the same. I'll show you just one table, the users table. So here, I just delete the case. So no more, no more data. Then let's just run. Oh, I forgot to add the run, the run command. So let's just add here. Start. Oh. Yes, that will do. So let's just try to build first before I will explain. I'll just walk you through the application, guys. I will not code it step by step, but I will. I guess I will post the repository in the the comment and um, in description below. So npm start. So here is our API, which is run here. The build. It's all JavaScript already because already been uh, compiled so let's try the API I will walk you through first so let's select oh I forgot to change the env file so let's change the environment first change to development so let's start again So there's no data because we deleted it just a while ago. So let's insert. Just put my name, I guess. Then my email, if you want to email me. Then my pick age, that's 40 years old. Then let's try to insert. So added successfully. So let's select again. There it is. Then if you try to insert, so where did this on the database? It is encrypted. So next is let's add another. Let's change the name to Joe. So like the name Joe. So encrypted. Then select. We can also select per user. Just add. I mean, just add the parameter ID. So let's say eight two. And seven. Then let's just return an empty array if the ID doesn't exist. So let's try to update this Joe Linganai here. Let's just do this one. So dummy data, dummy data. So pass eight. So user doesn't exist if the ID is added. So let's try the user eight updated so let's select again there it's updated already then let's delete it number eight so user deleted then let's select deleted and also in the database so deleted so the crude is working so let's let's walk it through the the, the application or the code so first is just TNC, TST, I mean, then init. So this to, to generate this file. So my config JSON is, I allowed JavaScript to be compiled also because the SQLize, same with the clone architecture in JavaScript, the SQLize is in JavaScript, not in TypeScript because from the package I guess so you just allow the JavaScript to be compiled also and then 
like the report is ES5, so I encountered some error, so I just change it to ES6. So, then the build is will generate here. You can name this anything you want. Then I don't know. I I just I'm not an expert yet, so I don't know. These are the default config files I config. Then include the source file which is here. If you have the source file named differently, so you can change it like that. Then exclude node modules. Compile on save false. So every time you save, won't compile. Compile. So that's it for. I also I add the ptr. Here is just a simple ptr config. Then add a VS Code uh, settings that it will format every time you save. So let's jump into the main. Here is uh, it is almost the same with the JavaScript uh, main file. Just convert it to to TypeScript. So import import. It's almost the same. Just the export and import are different. So that's it for the main file. Here is just the body parser. Then allow ports. Then listen to ports. What port is here? Then the one simple uh, sim single route. So I just made a single route here. Then show this error if the route doesn't exist. Then export the app. So let's go to the to the data access. So for the data access is the SQLite is just the same with the clean architecture architecture. So nothing to discuss there. So in the connection is just just the same again here just passing the difference the difference only is that once you pass a parameter here you have to specify the data type or what is what is it what it is so just to be uh to be safe almost all of the parameters that i pass is i have put any so that's what I have researched in Google. So just pass any. So example here in I mean the control controller. Here you can because this is a function from the use case. So I put function here, then any again. So whatever you wanna pass, just uh put the data type or what it is, what it is. So let's continue. So after creating the tool from the Postgre, just export it and then call it here. So these are the two packages that to be passed. Then call the function, then pass the packages, and then export again. So that's it for the connection to the Postgre. And then in here in the query, here example ID, ID is a string, so just pass it. Data is an. I have an error here because if I if I will put an object here, I encounter an error. So I guess the the solution here is put the explanation fine. It's not working. Or here, not also. So I just put the any any here because I encountered in my integration testing here in the axios if I won't put a, a exclamation point here it will error like that so I put the, I research the solution for that so if you put an exclamation point it is uh, TypeScript will uh, TypeScript will uh, this variable must have value. TypeScript will automatically uh, 
expect that. So estimation pa ngayon tayo. I just, I just research it. Just read it here guys. Just don't say So, don't say auto. Your discard for these changes, guys. So for the queries, just the same. So use this equalize for up insert and update or delete. Then on selecting, is I use the query. So what's new here is just this one. You to add the pull query. You will you must add the error and response like that. Then if you pass an object, just any. Because if you put an object there, so you will encounter an error. So that's it. That's the new in the with access part. So let's jump into the use case. Just the same. Just add the here. Mm, I guess it's almost the same in the JavaScript and TypeScript. Just add this one. I don't know what it's, it is called. So nothing, nothing new here. Just the export default. Because in JavaScript it is module. Let's export like that. Also here, like that. Then make an object. Then export the object. So just discover the or just go through the code base. It's almost the same with the JavaScript, now clean architecture. But it's working. So that's what is good. So if you have any question guys, just put in the comment section because I'm still new with TypeScript, so I'm still continuing learning. So just comment guys and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.